What's up, folks, and welcome to the 2023 State of the Office Report post-apocalypse edition. Maybe we'll see after, see how that all turns out. Not a whole lot has changed. One thing that's changed is what you're looking through right now. I got a new phone. I had a new phone last year, too. It was a Nokia. It got an Android update and turned into an unmitigated turd. So I splurged a bit and got a Samsung, which is like high-end stuff for me. I didn't get the cheapest one or the second cheapest one. I got like the third cheapest one. So hopefully this video won't induce vomiting this year, but your mileage may vary. Let's go around the office. One thing in the closet. That's really cool. If you're into guitar pedals and that kind of stuff, this is a shoe organizer with all of my excess pedals. So they're no longer spread around the office like barnacles. Really cool. This is a really cool idea. It's somebody's idea on Reddit. I can't take credit for that, but cool stuff. Still have the North Face Canary, my all-time favorite backpack. You can either bury this with me or bury me in this, depending on how my last few minutes go, but I love this backpack. On to the musical stuff no one cares about, because why not? I mean, surely... Dream Theater is going to need a new guitar player at some point. We have some new pedals. This is the Zio from Source Audio. It's a really cool pedal. It's uh, a really good input buffer. It has four different analog circuits, like a studio pull tech kind of thing, and uh, you know, like an EP boost and a flat boost. And a, different analog input circuits, which you can set to be a boost if you want. It has like a, this simulates impedance from a short cable or a medium cable or a long cable. Uh, it's, it's a really cool pedal. It just makes everything sound very good. The other thing that's new, some of these you may not have seen before, but they're not new. They're just, they're just from the vault. The other thing that's new is this Keeley Andy Timmons Signature Halo Dual Delay Pedal. And this thing makes me incredibly happy. It's it's just two delays, but with the modulation and and the panning and everything else, it's you would swear there's chorus on, you would swear there's reverb on, but it's just the delays, and it just sounds amazing. And it has a expression pedal input, so I use this to set the the level, and I just keep it on one A, which is Andy Timmons setting, because Andy Timmons knows a few things about tone. And man, it just sounds incredible. The other thing that's new is I sans guitar amp completely. This is going stereo out. So it goes to my cab M, which is like an impulse response loader and, and you know, amp sim. It goes to my Halo and goes out stereo to two full range flat response speakers from Headrush. And it just sounds fantastic. Makes me very happy. Did I have this idiot cat last year? I can't remember. Uh, maybe I did. This is Willie. And this is my guitar stool, which Willie has taken over. And he is currently uh, getting himself pretty for the camera. Good job, Willie. I got a new guitar this year. This is an Ert uh, Headless Wonder. It's, it's really amazing what you can get for not a lot of money in the musical instrument space these days. This is under 400 bucks. You can get them on Amazon. Some of the best fret work on any guitar I've ever bought. And fret work is, for me, is like 90% of the guitar is, is the neck. Just a great sounding and playing instrument. I did replace the pickups, so it was okay sounding with the old pickups. And it's got some new pickups. Just a great instrument. I, I love playing it. I had a Steinberger Spirit back in the day. I always regretted getting rid of that I just loved and I just I just love having a headless guitar again I did have to make kind of rig a wall mount for it because you know there's no headstock that uh, like it like it a lot now all the other guitars are the same this one is not new if you're eagle-eyed and the side as it's just was in the closet I gave three guitars to my son's piano teacher who plays is just an incredible musician plays lots of instruments I gave him to him to give to students, and uh, so he's got students that can use a guitar. He does a lot of like uh, community work, and he's just a really cool guy. 
So I gave him some instruments to give to people because I would much rather than try to sell them because I don't buy really, they're not super valuable guitars anyway, but I'd rush much rather somebody that needed a guitar but couldn't get one just just get one i'd rather give it to them and that's worked out great and i feel a little lighter but i got an empty hook nature abhors a vacuum something is going to have to go here and i don't know what yet i think that's how that works if you have an empty hook you get a new guitar i'll ask my wife if she agrees with that uh, so to be continued now Everything pretty much over here is the same. I got a new keyboard. This is an Echo, it's like a A75B plus or something. It sounds like an Ibanez guitar name, something. It's really nice. Uh, it's basically, if you're not into modding mechanical keyboards, you could get this and just be super happy with it. It has all kinds of sound dampening and silicone and foam and gaskets and it comes with really good echo jelly pink switches and really good double shot keycaps it's a really good keyboard the only things i did to it is did the tape mod on it because i always do which is a fancy way of saying i put painters tape on back of the pcb and the the alpha numeric keys i replaced the jelly pink with jelly whites because I like a really light touch, and Jelly White's like a 35 gram, and a Jelly Pink is like a 45 gram. The Jelly Pinks are actually very nice, but yeah, it's just a thing I do. I really like this keyboard. It's very nice. The only other thing that's different, I mean, I got a new hat, but the only other thing that's interesting that's different is in the Dark Tower here. I upgraded my GPU. I did have an AMD RX 580, which I've had for a long time. And I replaced it with an AMD RX 6600. And it's about twice as fast. And according to benchmarks, it's around 80-something percent faster. It's almost twice as fast. uses less power. It's dead quiet. I love this graphics card. I upgrade my graphics card when I can more or less double the performance for about 200 bucks. I don't get spending a grand on a graphics card. I don't know what you people are doing with your lives. I, I mean, if it's you're running AI models all day, maybe get an RX 480 or something. But good grief, people are grand on a graphics card. You can 1440p game on an RX 6600 on high settings all day long on Linux. So whatever you people are doing, stop doing. Mm, mm. But this is an RX 6600, and I love it. And that means my son inherited my RX 580, and he's loving that. That is the state of the office. Not a whole lot new, but I kind of like this little cave. I hope you're all doing well, and you're happy and healthy, and your 2023 is starting out with great, great things. Willie, do you have anything to add to this? Willie does not. See ya.